Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I love each and every one of you, and I hope you're doing very well on your journey. So let's look at this a little bit with the candida, which I'm going to use the word fungus. People bring fruits all the time for fungal problems, and I just want to throw up. On your kitchen counter, uh, put yourself a piece of cheese, a piece of bread, even, even whole grain, I don't care, and a handful of grapes. All right. Now, if fruits are so bad with fungus, how come I don't see any fungus growing on the grapes, but uh-oh, bread and cheese getting mold all over them. Mold is fungus, right? So you got mold and, and all over the bread and cheese. Why? Because they're fermented foods. The grapes will get mold on them. When? Exactly. When they start to die, when they start to ferment, when they're starting to give up their atoms so we can use them for other things. When people blame fruit for things, which are simple monosaccharides of fructose, that's not the problem. Sucrose, maltose, dextrose, those are more problematic because they're complex carbons. They're complex multiple chain carbons. So what we have is complex sugar. Now, what gland in your body is responsible for sugar metabolism? The adrenal glands. Cortisol is well known to be involved in sugar metabolism. What we're facing is a society of major weak adrenal glands and high polysaccharides. So when you have weak adrenal glands and you're consuming polysaccharides, you're going to invite a lot of fungus problems in the it body. It isn't sugar. Don't blame sugar. Fermentation, if you're fermenting your fruit sugars, you have real serious adrenal gland problems. You're not digesting your food properly and your sugar metabolism's off. So you fix those things. You don't eliminate the fruit. If you're having a problem digesting them, you're going to have the worst time digesting vegetables. Uh, click, kill your, use, use a parasitic formula and kill candida. Move your lymph because you'll never get rid of it completely without that. If you don't ever have good sugar metabolism, you always have fungus problems because you're fermenting your sugar, see? Uh, don't always blame nature. Blame yourself and what's going on in your body sometimes. We always blame nature. God. Well, they're, they're the problems. Fruits is the problem. He said, I've been on high fruit for the past year, and it seems like my candida fungal problems have gotten much worse. Well, take an urban kill em. Take an urban kill em. Detox yourself. We always deworm people. Use nature to get rid of candida. We also get a lot of fermentation because we mix proteins and starches. So when you mix proteins and starches, you know they don't digest because proteins requires uh, hydrochloric acid and pepsin. And then when you're getting into your starches, you got amylase, tylen, and the like. So you've got two opposing digestive enzyme issues going on here, and you always have putrefaction and fermentation. You literally almost stop digestion. Now, the other component to this, which we've discussed, is sulfur. We are fanatics with sulfur. Sulfur, someone asked me a question about MSM. I think all sulfates, all sulfites are bad, but I can tell you, stay away from the sulfurs. Sulfurs are not good for anybody, and they they exacerbate, they they spawn, they explode candida. So all of you with the orange in your eyes, you know you have heavy, heavy candida problems, fungal problems, and you can see that. So that is part of the problem. So don't blame the fruits. Blame the breads and cheeses, if anything, but go to causative factors, adrenal glands, sugar metabolism. Fix your adrenal glands. Get your kidneys filtering. Get your lymph system cleaned out, and you will be on top of the world, guys.